Hello and welcome to another special um, GCSE revision video. Uh, this is another chance for me to shamelessly promote my channel. Uh, we've got another question from the BBC Breakfast team and it reads previously the big bad wolf used 10 wolves working 15 hours daily for five working weeks only Mondays to Fridays to bring the pig's house down if the wolf wants to start this demolition job at 9 a.m. and be done in time for tea at 3 p.m. on the same day oh excuse the frog in my throat <clears throat> how many wolves does he need to blow down the house of the three little pigs? Okay, well we're going to make some assumptions here and the first assumption I'm going to make is that all the wolves are working equally as hard blowing down these house and that the house is constructed of the same material by the same quality workmanship. It's an identical house to the one that was blown down previously. So how long did it take 10 wolves working 15 hours daily for five working weeks? Well five hours sorry five five weeks five working weeks I can write neatly, which is harder than it looks. Five weeks times five days per week. Is equal to, well, five times five is 25. We know that from our five times table. So that's 25 and we've got weeks here which cancel with the per week here so that leaves us with the days so that's 25 days okay so we know that these wolves have been working for 25 days we also know that they've been working for 15 hours daily again I'm going to assume that these wolves have been working constantly for 15 hours daily not taking a tea break or anything so this is 25 days times 15 hours per day okay well 5 times 5 is 25 carry the 2 5 times 2 is 10 so that's 12 so that's 125 and we add to this 10 times 25 which is 250 which is equal to 375 and our units well we've got days multiplied by hours per day so the days cancel and leaving us with hours so that's 375 hours for 10 wolves working 15 hours daily 5 working weeks that's 375 hours but there were 10 wolves so how long would it have taken one wolf to do the same job well it would have taken 10 times as long assuming all wolves work at the same rate so that's 375 times 10 is equal to 3,750 wolf hours
to demolish one of these piggies house or the three little pigs house okay so the big bad wolf needs 3750 wolf hours to get the job done so how many wolves does he need to hire if he's going to get the job done between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. on the same day well from 9 a.m. till 12 noon is three hours and from 12 noon till 3 p.m. is another three hours and again assuming they don't have any lunch breaks or tea breaks or nature breaks we're looking at six hours so he wants to reduce this number from 3750 hours with the time it would take him to do the job on his own to just six hours so how many wolves is he going to need well that's just 3750 divided by six so 3750 wolf hours divided by six in fact I'll put my units in wolf hours keeping the units in help us to keep track of what we're doing so this is divided by six hours okay so six goes into thirty seven six times six times six is thirty six that leaves a remainder of one bring down the five so six into fifteen goes twice two times six is twelve and that leaves a remainder of three bring down the zero six goes into thirty five times exactly six times five is thirty now the hours cancel with the hours in the wolf hours leaving six hundred and twenty five wolves so assuming these wolves are not bright enough to realize that three little pigs is not an awful lot of meat to share between 625 wolves and that they don't get upset about the fact that they don't get a tea break or a nature break or even uh, any uh, days off other than the weekends that they don't decide to form a union and strike or turn on the big bad wolf then he will need to hire 625 wolves to knock down the three little pigs house but if he was smart enough to realize from the fairy tale they're only going to run off and build another house anyway which is a bit of a sad situation for the wolf nice situation for the pigs he needs 625 wolves okay i'd like to thank bbc breakfast for this interesting challenge and i'd like to wish you all the best with your revision and all the best with your exams if you're taking your gcse's this year if you liked this video don't forget to check out my channel and I'll look forward to seeing you in another video.